Good day to everyone. Today we will see, what is the purpose of a star delta starter, and why it is needed for a three-phase induction motor on starting. Initially we need to know that, the transformers at substations receive three-phase, three-wire, high-tension lines with voltages ranging from 11,000 to 33,000. Transformer reduces high voltage to 400 volts, to provide three-phase, four-wire system needed for industrial use. Further, single-phase 230 volt two-wire lines provided, for domestic use. This voltage is applied to UK and Europe mostly. Second rewinding inside of the transformer should be a star type 1, to provide the neutral wire needed for three-phase unbalanced load currents. Neutral line is required, to provide single-phase connections needed for domestic use too. Neutral line is provided connecting three ends of star windings in transformer, and by grounding it with a neutral grounding resistor. NGR is provided to reduce the neutral line current to a safer limit during a short circuit, and thereby protecting equipment connected to the circuit. When drawing star connection on a diagram or in a circuit, it is shown that the three phase lines are 120 degrees apart. But need to know that in a delta connection too, the same three lines are connected and the voltage in these lines also move 120 degrees apart. Now let us consider four wire, three phase connection received from the substation transformer or from a standby generator. Star connection and a delta connection provided from the three phase lines like this. Let's consider red and blue lines on the star and delta connection first to see the behavior of voltage on those. You will see that the RMS voltage between two lines should be 400 volts always. In delta connection, only one phase or coil is provided between marked points of red and blue lines. So the line voltage of 400 volts difference should be there at the ends of the shown phase or coil here. We can take coil voltage is equal to line voltage and is 400 volts in delta connection. In star connection the line voltage is 400 volts, but you will see in between the two lines, there are two coils or phases available. Two voltage drops in two coils here, that is phase voltage or coil voltage of 230 volts, is the result of dividing 400 volts by 1.732, or square root 3. Adding of two phase voltages together should be done with vector diagram. Square root 3 value comes into action due to 120 degrees phase difference. Let's see how the induction motor windings are arranged. Out of three sets of windings, one set connected to the red line is shown here. When other two sets also added, resultant rotating magnetic field will make the rotor of the motor to rotate like this. Let's see how voltage sine wave moves in a sinusoidal path. You will see maximum value is achieved at 90 degrees and minimum value is at 270 degrees. When consider all three voltage curves, yellow and blue phases start 120 degrees and 240 degrees after the red line starts. All voltages move, keeping their distances with 120 degrees apart. When blue phase reaches zero voltage value, yellow line voltage is with a positive value, and the red line voltage also with the same value on the negative side. It shows that at any point here on the graph, total resultant voltage is zero, and in a balanced load condition, vector sum of currents flowing in these phases also becomes zero. Let's see the current behavior of star connection now. Current flow is zero, on yellow line at this point, but other two lines are with negative and positive identical current values. Current flow alternates on the other way also, along the two phase windings provided on star connection. To find the current value, let's assume that the three phase windings are with 25 ohms each resistance value. Here, line current is equal to phase or coil current since yellow phase is with zero current value. By using Ohm's law, you get 9.2 amps for both line and phase currents. On delta connection current behavior, current flow on yellow line is zero here too. But current flow on red and blue lines split into two, due to the additional path provided by two phases in delta winding. Since red and blue line currents are equal and opposite, it alternates on the opposite direction also like this. To find current value here, we take same resistance value of 25 ohms each on three phase windings. By using Ohm's law, we get 16 amps for coil or phase current. 
for the line current. Other two phases also involves here in 1.73 2 times phase current, that is 27.7 amps of current flows on the line. This is too is due to the 120 degrees phase difference between current sine waves. When compared, coil current on star winding is 9.2 amps, and coil current on delta winding is 16.2 amps. When come to the line current, star winding line has the same 9.2 amp current, but delta winding has almost three times of it, that is 27.7 amp current on its line. In three phase induction motors, starting with high voltage, high torque, and high current, will make the other sensitive electrical equipment in the system to get damaged, due to the sudden fluctuations on voltage and current. By introducing star connection initially for a few seconds, till the motor gets to 80% of its full speed, will make the motor to start with less voltage, and thereby less torque and less current. Changing to delta connection after motor has gained almost its full speed, will not affect the electrical system, or any other equipment connected to it. Hope you have gained a lot about star delta starter now. If this video is useful, please subscribe the channel. Thank you.